Good morning, Pizza. Today is November 9th, and 17th. Welcome to this week's edition of PTV. I'm Kelsey Vance. And I'm Xander Kurtz. Thank you for joining us. Let's start off with your SRT meeting so we can get you out the door to where you need to be. C Club, you guys are meeting in room 1218. Alpha Row, you guys are in room, in room 120. And Robotics will be meeting in room 141 from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. Moving along to a, triv- to a recap of our trivia question from last week, we asked you, when does Canada celebrate Thanksgiving? The answer is October 9th. Congratulations to Mr. Connor's room, who was chosen by our random selector via email. Be expecting your tasty prize because it's on the way now. Plymouth High School students and staff invite all United States veterans who have served our com- country together tomorrow at 9 a.m. in the PHS Varsity Gym. Josh Walker will be the guest of honor for this year's program. Walker served with the United States Army from 2003 to 2006. He was awarded an Army Commendation Medal for discovering the last buried weapons cache in Southwest Baptist. Walker served with the United States Army from 2003 to 2006. He was awarded an Army Commendation Medal for discovering the largest buried weapons cache in Southwest Baghdad. He's now part of a local veterans group in Plymouth. Walker is a 2002 graduate of John Glenn High School. Those who cannot physically attend the program can watch the program stream via computer. The event will be live streamed promptly at 9 a.m. on our PTV at PHS YouTube channel. On the lunch menu today, we will be having chicken and noodles, mashed potatoes, dinner rolls, and anything of your choice from the fruit and veggie bar. The Sweetheart Dance is this Saturday from 8 to 11 p.m. in the Multipurpose Gym. The theme this year is The Great Gatsby. Backed by popular demand is the one and only DJ Sticky Boots. And of course, the photo booth will be returning this year as well. Tickets are on sale now during lunch until Friday for $25 per person. Don't delay and buy your tickets because tickets will not be sold at the door. Our PTV Mystery Box segment is back with a new mystery substance. This week, we are changing things up with a phallish themed substance in the box. PTV's Natalie Loftus and Elizabeth Sutterby went back out searching for willing participants to put their hands inside the box to play along. Let's see if they reeled anyone in for episode two. Hi, I'm Natalie Loftus and today we're gonna see who can correctly guess what's in the mystery box. Okay, so what do you think is in the box? There's leaves in this box. Are you sure? I- I'm pretty sure. Those are Reese's wrappers. Reese's wrappers? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Right? Uh, okay, so what do you think is in the box? Leaves. Crushed up homework? Yeah. Alright. And, some, and some sticks. Some sticks? Yeah. These, these are leaves. Leaves, you said? Yeah. Oh, these are definitely leaves. The advanced Chinese classes are offering to teach you Chinese for free on Saturdays. Students enrolled in the advanced Chinese classes are volunteering their time at the Plymouth Public Library on upcoming Saturdays to help anyone learn the language. The hour-long class started this past Saturday, and they will be back at it again on this Saturday and and again on the 18th. Students will be reading Chinese stories and teaching the public how to write in Chinese from 10 to 11 a.m. in the Larmor room of the library. It's time to look at what's making news in the world of sports. Stay tuned for our name highlights from our PTV sports crew, plus much more. Hi, this is Matt Randall from ABC 57 News, and you're watching PTV Sports. Looking at our PTV Sports Rundown for today, at 6 p.m., the ninth grade girls basketball team faces Logan Sport at home. And from 6 to 8 p.m., if you are on the soccer team, this is a reminder you have your season banquet in the cafeteria. The Marshall Star Special Olympics is looking to find some student volunteers for the upcoming basketball season. They need help coaching 
The season starts at the end of November and runs through the end of March. Special Olympics students practice once a week and have some tournaments on the weekends. If you are interested, please contact directly Kelly Ricks at 574-4660 during the day or 574-952-1432 after 5 p.m. If you have been watching PTV, you may be familiar with one of our new segments, the PTV One Minute One-on-One. -on -One. This week, we are back shining the light on another Plymouth High School athlete. Let's take a look. I'm PTV's Josie Koontz, and I'm going to be meeting up with Tolman Mills to do the PTV's One Minute One-on-One. -on -One. Uh, what sports do you play? Uh, baseball and basketball. What's your favorite sport? Uh, baseball. Do you have any nicknames? Uh, no, not really. What's your favorite movie? Uh, Moneyball. What is something that everyone does and looks stupid doing? Uh, dancing. What is something that is really popular now, but in five years everyone will look back at and be embarrassed by? Dabbing. What is your favorite animal? Uh, kangaroo. What is the most embarrassing thing you've ever worn to school? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> What's the best type of cheese? Cheese you can eat. <laughs> what elementary school did you go to? Washington. In one word, how would you sum up the internet? Great. <laughs> Country music or rap music? Rap. How do you feel about putting pineapple on pizza? You shouldn't do it. What's your favorite kind of ice cream? Vanilla. Stay tuned for next week when we bring another athlete to do PTV's One Minute One-on-One. -on -one. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish are on a major winning streak. This past seat weekend, they won 47-38 to against the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. PTV's Megan Scott and multimedia journalist Kiara Clements was on the sidelines. Here's a recap of the win that moves the rec Irish record up to 8-1 and one this season. I think I made the plays uh, obviously necessary here to win the game, and I think I left a lot of plays out there that uh, when we face a, an opponent who you know takes advantage of, of me not making those plays, uh, it would cost us. So uh, I do think that obviously there's always room to improve, and so I think our guys have uh, been able to get a win against an offense that uh, played extremely well this evening. I think uh, Wolford was outstanding, and. Uh, Again, I think we, we take a lot from it with a win, um, with a dominating offensive performance too. I don't want to take anything away from Brandon Wimbush tonight. Uh, I think that the, the narrative of him being able to throw the football should change dramatically. Uh, he had a couple of drops out there that he would have easily thrown for you know close to 300 yards. So. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that the tempo was necessarily an issue, especially in the first half. I thought we handled it well um, at times. Um, in the second half, we just didn't execute and fit our gaps right. Um, their quarterback, you know, hats off to Wake Forest. They played really well tonight. Anybody else for Nick Wisher? Um, their quarterback made all the right reads and delivered the ball, and we didn't finish at the end of the route. Um, had a lot more opportunities for pass breakouts. <laughs> Played within the expectations of, of the offense, and obviously without Josh um, and the rest of the basketball did a great job. And I thought I took a little bit more of the responsibility on myself, um, you know, to make those plays. But I think I, I've done a great job of, of going through the week and preparing myself to, to come out here and execute a little bit more each week uh, on Saturday. So, hey, um, and to all the other guys, was just when you think this game gets easy, it humbles you really fast, and it did that tonight for us defensively. Um, and so we'll have to get back, um, self-evaluate, you know, and move forward with Miami. That this, this game, you know, will humble you in a heartbeat um, if, if you take any of it for granted. And, and I think it was a great reminder for our players that, um, you know, th this, this game requires um, you to uh, be 100% locked in at all times. And, uh, again, I think it comes at a great time with it. Lori 
games on the road this weekend in Florida will they take on the Miami Hurricanes. Kickoff is set for 8 p.m. So a top 10 matchup, and it will be exciting to see what happens. After that, the Irish will host their last home game on the 18th when they take on Navy. Thanks to Notre Dame Athletics, our PTV crew will be back on the field capturing all the action for you. Let's move on to everyone's favorite time of the show, trivia. SRT teachers, please email us your answers before the end of SRT today, so your class has a chance at winning a big prize. This week's question is, what did the famous Hollywood sign located in Los Angeles originally say? Please email your answers to Plymouth Marketing at Plymouth.k12.in.us. Again, the question is, what did the famous Hollywood sign located in Los Angeles originally say? If your room knows the answer, SRT teachers, email your class response to phsmarketing at plymouth.k12.in.us. Good luck to everyone, and thank you for playing. Thanks for joining us for this week's show. I'm Kelsey Vance. I'm Xander Kurtz. See you next week, PHS. Yeah.